In studio tonight, our guest is Leslie Adams. She is an artist based in Toledo, and you might have seen her on Fox Toledo News very recently when we covered the unveiling of the portrait of former Governor Ted Strickland that is going to hang in the State House in Columbus. And congratulations on another big political commission work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, this was quite a ceremony. This wasn't just a quick little unveiling. Tell us again who was at this ceremony. Well, that was rather intimidating. The, the ceremony itself took months in planning, and um, Greg Dodd at the Capitol Square Design and Review Board did a wonderful job organizing the event. Um, but I had to um, be on stage and share the stage with some pretty phenomenal people, which was really, really intimidating. Um, I followed Senator John Glenn. <laughs> no pressure <laughs> no there. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Um, so I, I think I was sandwiched between um, John, Senator Glenn and um, Frances Strickland, the for, former First Lady. Um, but also on the stage was um, Ch Justice Yvette McGree Brown, who was the first African-American female justice on the Ohio Supreme Court. Um, pretty impressive list of, of speakers that day, oh, including, right. of course, Governor, Governor Strickland. And Governor Taft was in, in attendance as well. So it was a pretty remarkable day. Well, you've been kind enough to bring us examples of some of your other portraits. And, and Strickland is not your first political person who, are, who you were providing a, a permanent record of for yes. future generations. You, you did Governor Bob Taft as well. Yes, four years ago I was fortunate enough to receive that commission and he was just a wonderful, wonderful subject as well, as was Governor Strickland and since then um, I was um, privileged to have painted our former Ohio Senate President, um, President Bill Harris. That was unveiled in the, in the um, fall. That's wonderful, yeah. wonderful. And you've done um, a, a couple of others that you have examples for it as well. Yes, um, I think I've, I know I've included um, Bishop James Hoffman, mm -hmm. who uh, was unveiled, whose portrait was unveiled in 19, um, or 2005, I believe. Um, president Dan Johnson, our former University of Toledo president. Um, David T. Brown, former CEO of Owens Corning, um, who has since retired. Mm -hmm and um, uh, a lovely little fun portrait commission that I had the opportunity to do for the University of Michigan of Dr. Fleming Carroll from the turn of the last century. Um, so that was a fun, just a, a fun project to do. An elite group of people. How long do you spend on a portrait? Roughly 400 hours. Now, I know it's been reported that Governor Strickland posed for 400 hours. <laughs> he did not, <laughs> just to set the record straight. But um, they, they pose for as much time as I can get them to pose. And then I borrow their, their clothes and I borrow the artifacts from the office that I'd like to use to kind of tell their story. Oh, wow. Do you work from photographs at all or is, do you primarily sketch from the live person? Both. I try to get them to pose as much as possible, but you know, at 400 hours, it's not realistic for anyone to sit and pose for that long. So as much as I can, if I, if I get a good solid drawing at the beginning from life, and then, you know, work incrementally on posing from life, I think I can um, capture capture their character through you, that. You do a fantastic job well, capturing you. people. Your, your work is so realistic and gorgeous and, and kind of has a glow. You feel like you know the person by looking at your work. Oh, so. well, thank you, thank you. I've some, had some wonderful subjects and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to paint them. Well, thank you, Leslie Adams. Uh, an artist right here in Toledo, Ohio, who does portraits. That is tonight's talk back.